the bite attack, it does 1d6 cold damage and trips the target. I don't think pets can... can I, I would totally put the cape on my pet. But it doesn't let me. for selling I forget what was did Wrath of the Righteous give the familiar the, the animal companions an inventory I swear I played some game where the animal companions Ooh, could wear angry. like a necklace and maybe a cape but I can't remember what it was completed I am was it Wrath <laughs> I got you dead I remember right there. Oh, yeah, and barding. That's right. They had a uh, barding, which is animal armor. Okay, so it was Wrath of the Righteous. They get a few equipment slots around. Oh my god, Archer, calm down. I was just asking. I was just asking. It's cool. It's cool. I feel like I'm missing something about this game. How do you keep your characters healed without constantly resting? Well, one, I try to not take any damage in battle. That's not me giving you a cheesy that answer. I That's a real... That I'm really saying that. Because, like, for example, that fight I just did, Valerie I am right here, command. she got scratched a tiny bit. I don't need to rest for that. I can keep going. So I can do another battle, right? So if my person up front with the stupid armor class doesn't take any hits, I don't have to rest and I can keep going. Um, me. Usually, unless things get really bad, I rest after each map. Because, like, I enter a map, I do all my buffs, and then I get through that map, and then when I leave it, you know, time starts speeding up. Because, like, as we travel, days pass really quickly, and all those buffs How disappear. And so, at that point, um, I will make sure to rest before I enter the next location, rebuff, and then go on. Jubilos used his entire so, grenade collection on ideas? that, uh, you require my that boss, though. It's interesting having him on uh, in the crew, because it's just like... I have him basically holding back all the time, but then, you know, when we fought, when we fought that thing, uh, I was just like, alright, unload everything, and he just went crazy with the grenades. What is that? Arcane Protector. This plus one dagger grants its wielder plus three dodge bonus to armor class and immunity to nausea. Doesn't Don't she hesitate. already have one of those? Yes. Yeah, she yeah, her da her she's uh tanking with that dagger, so she has a bonus armor class. Child's play. In my run I had a lot of different people with small heals. True. Like my Never Inquisitor can do some healing. Uh, my bard can do some healing, um, and then of course I've got a cleric in the party that can do like channel and heal the whole party. And she used most of her channels. She only has one left. She used those during the uh, the big fight. I'm not touching that. You can thank me now. All right, I think we cleared this map. What sort of buffs do you apply that last for a whole map? Uh, sure. Hang on. Uh, let me see if I can show you here since I just left. Okay, so some of my favorites are... Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Barkskin is a bunch of additional armor, and it's 10 minutes per level. We're level 8, so that's 80 minutes. That's a whole map, right? Uh, so I always put that up. Um, this right here, Magical Vestment, an hour per level. It lasts eight hours right now, because I'm level eight. That's bonus armor class for the main tank. Um, this guy can do, uh, where is it? Protection from arrows on the whole team, which lasts one hour. So that's the whole map. Uh, I can throw a haste there. I just realized he's got some more spell slots, doesn't he? Um... Now, these kind of buffs last a minute a level. So, for me right now, they last eight minutes. So, I'll do those right before a big fight only. 
Um, she's got a really good one here. Heroism, 10 minutes a level, which is uh, 80 minutes for me right now, which is plus two to attack rolls, saves, and skill checks. Because of the plus two to attack rolls, I always put this on all my damage dealers. So she'll she'll do heroism on all my main DPS at the start of each map. Uh, Ekun has Aspect of the Falcon, which is one minute per level, and it's a huge buff to his bow. So I usually just use this right before a huge fight. Like, I used it on that big boss that we just did. Um, I could actually put Hurricane Bow right there now that I see that he's got that. Um, additionally, uh, three of the members of my party have a level in Alchemist, and so they're able to use Mutagen, which lasts 10 minutes per level. And it gives them a whole bunch of stat bonuses. So I do that at the beginning of each map. So uh, at the beginning of each map, I'm like, you know, you three, you, know, you drink potion, you drink potion, you drink potion. They're all buffed up. And then I got a few weird ones on my Inquisitor. Um, I give the whole group C invisibility, which lasts 80 minutes. The whole group immunity to poison, which lasts one hour. And if I need it, the whole group resistance to an element, which... When I first attacked that big thing, it breathed fire on us. I reloaded, cast resist fire, then attacked again, and then we killed it. So I've got that too. And those are the ones I normally use. Um, there are, you know, many other buffs and stuff like that, of course, but those are the ones I normally go to. I will claim this, yes. That is mine now. This has been a long trip back home. Well, we mapped out a whole nother region, which is pretty good. Uh, wait, that is home, right? I couldn't remember the name of my house. All right, let's go to the kingdom management screen for a second here. Proposal for cooperation complete. Nice. Nasty rumor has been handled. Nice. Uh, trade agreement with Mivion has been signed. You get more BP now. Nice. Not to make more work for you, but when you get done with this playthrough, it would be amazing if you could make a guide video with these tips. Party comp, important skills and such. Um, I actually have made two guides on the Pathfinder series. Uh, hang on, let me tab out for just a second. I don't know that they were on that exact topic, but I do have some knowledge I can share. Uh, right here, if you, at the top of the Mucklock Labs website, if you go to Gaming Guides, there's a Pathfinder section. And, uh, there's one here for character creation. And there's one here just on one of my favorite builds in the game, which is, uh, yeah, I actually was using it on that boss fight. I had the Inquisitor enlarged with the glaive weapon, so he was able to melee the boss from, like, 15 feet away. And, uh, yeah, it's really good. Man, I look at these thumbnails, I'm like, man, I did not know how to do proper thumbnails back when I did those. But, yeah, the knowledge is there. Um, Jathal is demanding an audience with the Baron. Something seriously happened and enraged the undead elf. Go to the throne room. Okay. okay. All right. Um, can we claim another area? Oh god, there's so many things to do. Okay, hold on. Let's just zone in and we'll deal with this there. Alright, let's just go straight to the throne room and figure out what's going on with Jathal. You didn't have chats with wise thumbnail guidance back then? Oh, like, add a pig! <laughs> Put chickens in it. Any of the traveling merchant. Ennio, a half-elf merchant who recently appeared in the capital, falls to the floor in front of you. Jathal stands beside him, looking quite unlike her normal self. Usually cold and stiff, the face of the undead elf now burns with rage. Despite his nearness to his furious undead captor, Ennio looks concerned but unafraid. If you allow me to speak, I can explain everything. I hope you can, half-blood. Otherwise, Jathal hisses and turns to you. Have I told you the sad story of my death? It is sad most of all because I do not remember how my life ended. I wandered exhausted through the wastelands beyond the borders of Kionin until I could barely see my path. I stopped to rest, or perhaps I lost consciousness when I came to my senses. I heard the call of the goddess returning me from the dead. Was it magic? Poison? Illness? Whatever stole my life away, it left no trace. I thought this mystery would haunt me forever, but then I entered the shop of this half-blood. Seeing some reminder of Kionin, and what did I discover there? My very own dagger. Jathal shows you an elven-crafted dagger with a chipped blade and empty sockets, where once gemstones adorned the handle. This dagger disappeared the same night I was taken by death. How could this half-blood have obtained it? 
Let him speak, Jathal. Anger will not help us learn the truth. That is why, Jathal pauses, respecting your authority, I have brought this pathetic huckster here, rather than getting the truth out of him by my own methods. Receive Jathal's old dagger. Any other traveling merchant. The half-elf rises to his feet and sighs, putting his clothes in order. Thank you for allowing me to speak, Your Grace. The story is not very exciting, certainly not as exciting as my tale of the drunken regatta within the eye of Anbindigo. Yesterday, north of the city, I stumbled upon a dead boar. There was no one around, but the dagger was protruding from the miserable beast's neck. I don't know why the owner would have left it in the carcass. Perhaps the beast escaped from the hunter taking along the weapon that had injured it. So I, inadvertently, decided to keep the item I'd found, thanking my luck and never suspecting the price I'd pay for it. Where exactly did you find this carcass and dagger? In the vicinity of the old sycamore. Of course, I'm sure you know where that tree grows. I found the boar to the west of the sycamore, in the direction of the Thorn River. Enio, you face serious accusations. Are you sure you could say nothing more in your defense? I would be glad if I could, but alas, the bright yellow-green eyes of the half-elf are calm. The dead boar is my only witness. But I believe in your justice, Baron. I have faith that you will investigate my story and sort everything out. We will investigate this matter further. Let's start by checking Enio's story and seek out this unfortunate boar. Jathal bows gracefully. I am grateful. It's important to me. And you, Half-Blood, should pray for our success. If you are lying, I shall find a surer way to get the truth from you. Alright, so we're, we're going to need to level Jathal up. I'm pretty sure Jathal is still level 1. Um, so we'll need to level her up and put her in the group to be able to go do that. Your Grace, today a letter from Bravoy was delivered to the castle. It was written by Fredero Senet, a paladin from the Order of the Eternal Rose. It appears that Sir Senet is claiming right to one of your companions who is brought up in his custody? Well, I'll leave it to you to handle this delicate matter. Letter from Fredero Senet. What? Alright. Let's tap quick save. The lab. Alright, Jathal and Fury complete. Letter for the ruler has been delivered. Alright. Uh, what else do we have here? Hold on a sec. Let's clear everyone's job so I can see what's going on here. Every bit helps. Citizens are concerned about their safety. They wish to raise funds to build fortifications around their villages. Jubilos, can you handle that? In the name of the law... A group of volunteers arrived from Bravoy. They are looking to help bring order to these lands. Their people would make a f welcome reinforcements for the guards if they could be persuaded to join the ranks. Christian? Some half-elf trading fabric in the capital discovered a loophole in the law which made it possible to avoid paying most taxes. The news spread quickly through the Merchant's Guild. Measures should be taken immediately or the treasury will be at a loss. Uh, I won't be able to... Should be attended to before the first of them. I won't be able to handle that right now. Howling wolves. Wolves are breeding at a surprising rate. Yeah, we ran into 40 of them at the bridge. The local forests are full of the ravenous beasts, and there's not enough quarry to feed them all. The starving wolves howl at night to gather into packs and attack villagers. Troublemakers. He's still doing a 21 day long thing. Uh, okay. Can we, actually wait, let's go back to that screen again. Might want to deal with the problems first. Uh, wait, hold on. I mean, oh, it can be canceled the day it was begun. All right, what was the, which ones are the problems? Oh, it says problem in the top left corner. All right, so that needs Jubilost. All right, so cancel that. Oh, he was already handling. Oh, no, this was something else. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Fey magic problem. Um... Is Tristan handling a problem? No, it's an opportunity. Dude, 
Where is it? There it is. The order of the cards changed. Okay. There we go. The problems... Let's see. Howling Wolves. That one is a problem, right? Yeah. Okay. So we'll have to have someone less perfect. We'll add a crisis point to it. All right. Um, now on the map itself, we have two regions. Wooden Wall, Bakken's Alchemist. Let's see, do we want to build anything else here? Oh, we already, we already have one of those. Um, do a watchtower. Build that there. Tuskdale. Uh, don't want to build anything else here. Already got the piers. Still kind of unclear how some of these bonuses help me. You know, like economy and stuff like that. Like, I don't know exactly. Like, it, it kind of gives a hint as to how it helps, but like exactly how it helps, I'm not really sure. Okay, well, we got things moving. And let's take a look at Jathal here. She is level one Inquisitor. Beauty. Um, hmm. Mostly longhouses? Yeah, I made a longhouse in each of my two cities. What is that thing? Oh, that's a dart. I thought that was like a gi giant shovel. Masterwork scythe. Okay. Uh, what's her base stat scores? She's got decent strength. Okay. Um, level up. Maybe put one level into Alchemist just so that she gets uh, Mutagen. We can give her a Strength Mutagen. That's been good for us so far. Mm. Put one point in each of these things. Alchemist. Okay. Uh, she can enlarge for self. Target bomb and make sure when you throw bombs, you only have to target. They do not splash. However, bomb steals base damage plus double your int modifier instead. Uh, reduce per supplier belly. Hmm. Do the ear pods you use always have to be wired? These ones, yes. These ones are, are plugged in. Honestly, for me, if they were not always plugged in, I'd probably lose the things. <laughs> okay, we got that. And let's just go Inquisitor now. So she's Ergothoa Inquisitor. All right. Uh, let's get those big one point bonuses. All right, put the rest in perception. Maybe low religion. Accomplished sneak attacker, point blank shot weapon focus. I coordinated combat expertise. Combat reflexes is really good. Oh, does she not have martial weapon proficiencies? Or does she have it? I guess she doesn't. Hold on, let me see. Inquisitor proficiencies. Longbow, shortbow, and favored weapon of her deity. And her deity's weapon is scythe. Alright, let's get her martial. If I'm going to have her as a melee in my party, I want her to have reach weapons. So that they, they die so much less often if they automatically will stay behind the tank a, bit, a little bit. Okay, we'll give her Bane. Alright, Inquisitor. Scythe should be a reach weapon. Mm-mm. 
I I am almost certain Scythe is just melee. I'll double check to see if I'm wrong, but I am pretty sure it's just melee range. Uh, trickery, mobility, athletics, knowledge, arcana, I guess. Let's see, teamwork feat. Precise strike. Mm, remove fear. Oh, we can give her remove fear again. Inquisitor. What does this level give? Judgment. Bop, 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 bop. And what else is high? Athletics, I guess. Accomplished sneak attacker, point blank shot. Oh, plus she's undead, so we can't e heal her as easily. So we definitely want her to try to stay alive. Do power attack. Sure. Uh, let's see my process. Lesser restoration. What is effortless armor? Your armor no longer reduces your speed. Oh. Inflict moderate wounds so she can heal herself. Poison, Invis. Protection from alignment communal. I don't know if that'll come in handy, but we don't have that communal buff currently. I don't think loaded up, ready to go. Uh, have you had a chance to look at the last Epoch roadmap? No, I have not. I saw someone linked it on the Discord, but I haven't looked at it. Anything good in there? Get out flank, I guess. Let's see, remove paralysis. I would take a look, Moat. All right, I'll take it out later. And 18 strength now, nice. Uh, we already have inflict light wounds. Spell magic. Little litanies. Fascinates the target. We've already got resist energy communal. Like serious wounds. Okay. So we were talking about sides. A uh, two foot melee reach. And a glaive has a six foot melee reach. Yeah, it's just standard short range. Nothing crazy. Uh, Bound Thunder Trident. Do I have any more magic reach weapons? Two foot, two foot, two foot, two foot. Mm, let's see. Great club, two foot. Keen longsword. Could borrow the one I gave to Amiri and put it on this character when I'm doing quests with her or something. So chainmail plus two. Cloak of resistance plus one. Charisma. Does she use charisma for anything? Why does it already have charisma on her? Net armor. Racers of armor are not going to affect her. It doesn't stack with normal armor. All right. So let's... She's got a glaive plus one. Let's borrow that and move it over here. Uh... All right. There we go. So she's got a reach weapon now. 
Uh, let's see. Those are all wand. I thought that was a Psy. That's a wand. <laughs> Wingardium Levio stab. I guess I'm out of rings of protection. Thought I had enough. Don't know that I have anything else for her to really use. Heart of Valor. Plus four resist against fear. Okay. Well, I think she is adequate for an outing. Um, and it looks like she does not have to load her spell book. Okay. So that we don't have to worry about. That stash is actually filling up. Yeah, we're going to visit a uh, merchant and get rid of quite a bit. Oh, Follow this me. guy, this will clear some space oh, too. Don't. Storyteller will take a lot of the stuff. Uh, I found artifacts of an uh, sorry shards of an ancient artifact. Can you restore it for me at the Advil? May I? He touches the items from your pack. The scorched piece of metal is a part of a curious artifact known as the Necklace of Double Crosses. Inside it, I sense a story of many deeds, not heroic but low and maleficent. If you find all seven fragments, I'll be able to restore it. You found shards of the Trailblazer's helm. We okay, we've seen this before. These shards, they were once part of the Forest Knight's bracers. Um, what a curious find. Shards of the Ring of Reckless Courage, it would seem. Notice how they bear evidence of melting here and there. Lady Luck favored the ring's previous owner for quite some time, but when she finally turned her back on him, the consequences were quite grave. If you find the rest of the 12 shards... Oh god, I found two. I'll be able to tell you the story. These are pieces of the Star Commander's glove, a gift from another world, a treasure that fell from the sky to be buried in Numerian soil for millennia. Oh, how I wish I could visit the homeland of this artifact to learn its whole story. Alas, that is well beyond my powers, but if you find the rest of the 17 pieces, I will be uh, able to restore... Okay, I don't have that. Um, I brought you some relics. Are any of these worthy of a story? Interesting, may I? Um, the symbol of Torax. Alright, so he took the Torax pendants. Uh, he took the Dryad, to the token of the Dryads. He took the dog tanks. Uh, something truly impressive. These items once belonged to a Dwarven Smith, and they wish to tell us their story. But too much has been lost, too much forgotten. The story of the smith eludes me. Find the rest of the five missing items. Uh, some of the five items are still missing. Find the rest of these five belongings. Okay. We did... We did make some space with that. A bunch of tokens. Yeah, see, all of those lines vanished. Okay. Not that I care. Alright. Merchant. Inflict minor wounds should be a touch spell, so I can see an argument for a sign being a wand of inflict minor wounds. <laughs> Just stab them. Yeah, like, yeah, I cast inflict minor wounds. You didn't do a UMD check. Are you wounded? Pretty sure you are. Looks like my spell worked. I cast fist. All right, uh, Zarsi, show me your wares. All right, let's sell non-magical stuff. Okay, that gets rid of a lot of things. Okay. Um... Let's get rid of the masterwork stuff, too. Alright. Does she have anything I wish to buy? I don't think she does. Okay. What about Hasuf? Anything here we want? Bag of holding. 25,000. It allows you to carry 200 more pounds. Buy it. Easy. More loot. Mm. I think we need this other stuff here. Uh, let's see. We haven't talked to Harem since he got really mad and punched an anvil and it broke. Let's see if he has anything juicy to say now. I did a quick save. That's why it's lagging for a sec. Uh, let's see. 
I still don't understand. How did you manage to break the anvil with your bare hands? I can't stop thinking about it either.